Hey guys, Jared from Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're gonna to be tying one of my favorite classic saltwater patterns. We're gonna tie the raised fly. Uh, it's a very good pattern for me. Uh, it works very good in early season, and it works well in this small bait around. Let's get started. All right, so in the vise today, I have a TMC 811S and a one aught. So I'm just gonna start my thread right behind the eye and just come back a little bit. Mono is pretty slippery, so you do wanna lay a good thread base. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is just tie in the body. And for the body, traditionally, body braid was used, but I'm just going to use a couple of strands of flashaboo. Um, it's something I always have on my desk, and it's really easy for me to grab, double over my thread, and create an easy body. Back up. Just trim off the excess, take out that straggler. Um, one thing you can do is just rib it again with your mono thread. You won't see it and it just creates a more durable body. Uh, the next step is just gonna be to grab some white bucktail. And you don't need a whole lot for this. Um, the whole point of this fly is to be sparse and translucent. All right, I'm just gonna take out the short fibers. Stack my tips just a little bit take a measurement. Um, so I want this to be about one and a half uh, length, hook length. It's just about there. So then trim my butts and then tie that in right on top of the hook shank. Okay. So this is the point where I like to put one or two pieces of flashaboo in the wing. So I'm just going to Take a little bit of flashaboo, double it over, and tie it right on top. Um, pearl is a good color. It's more of a subtle flash, but if you want more flash, you can use silver as well. So the next step is just going to be to grab a little bit of yellow bucktail and slightly less than what I have up before. Measure that. I'm going to take out a little bit too pieces. Tie that right on top of the hook shank. And then I'm just going to grab some olive bucktail. Okay, so grab a few of those. Take a measurement. Take the measurement. Transfer it to your offhand. Trim the butts and put that right in on top. Just create a nice little head, cinch everything down. For the last thing I'm gonna put on is just five or six peacock curls. These are typically going to be the longest part of my wing, so they're going to extend slightly past the olive bucktail. Just going to tie those in on top with nice tight turns. Put a wrap in front and then break those off clean. Gonna whip finish. Three. Add a second one. Finish that off with a little bit of super glue. Just a little bit. And that's it. It's a classic saltwater pattern. Um, my favorite way to fish them is in tandem with two of them in salt marshes. They work well for stripers early season when the silver side's around and bay anchovies. Um, also one of my top producing alby flies and a great smallmouth pattern as well. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you can watch all of our future videos. 
And don't forget, you can get all the fly tying materials at tridentflyfishing.com.